Oh, are you also watching ways on the 9th of May? Um, every year, National Sleepover Day is celebrated, and this day provides an opportunity for girls to confide in their friends in a way that can be inspiring, therapeutic, and confidence building. Sleepovers play an important role in both friendship and memory making. <laughs> It's a time when women and girls share stories and realize the more we are different, the more we are alike. Um, The thing, that, the thing I have in my head for this sleepover <laughs> is what we're discussing in the makeup room. <laughs> I not do. Hey, I not do. But the thing is, I'm actually, I don't think I ever had a sleepover. Mm. I never, I never, I never slept in anybody's house. Oh no, I, actually I tell a lie. One time my mom took, but it wasn't just like me. My mom took all of us to her family, our, a close family friend's house. Mm. Yeah, I think that's, it's only do. Yeah, because she was very, very yeah. suspicious of everybody. So yeah. we, we never really had that freedom to go. But I see a little bit, oh, mom, can I have a sleepover? Like my kids, I don't think they've ever had a sleepover with friends. Their cousins, yes, my sister's kids. But friends, mm -mm. Yeah, I'm very paranoid like that. Yeah, I've never, I never had a sleepover mm -hmm. growing up. Oh, well, But I did with family though. In that one will be sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> sleepover. <laughs> you're going to visit your family. You understand? Know, I'm going to visit well, your friends. Like your friends. But you know? now, I mean, okay, well. Would you be open to that? For my kids? Uh, to go to their... <laughs> no. Uh -huh. no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. 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 Hmm. No, are you there now? They can come, but... Yeah. Um, Why are we struggling to, will, to get... Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, ma. I have responsible friends. Uh, well, yeah. it's not so much the friends. I mean, when we get to the point where we start giving birth and I see how they raise their kids, that oh, would yeah. determine if my own children will go to their house mm, to sleep over. Yeah. But if, if the way you train your kids is very questionable and it doesn't align with my values, then Absolutely. my kids will not come to your house to okay, sleep so, over. Okay, that's, I, I hear you. But again, for me, I think... That is sometimes there are factors outside of your control. Definitely, the people in their house, in their house. somebody who comes and that you hmm. don't know, you know, yeah. how do you control that? Again, you're not there. So you you know. at okay. It's all right. <laughs> you can't even yeah. control the one you, in your you, house. Exactly. Well, how many things can you, you know, control? So. And in situations where really bad stuff have happened, they've not happened with strangers. They've actually happened with people, family members, yeah, family exactly. members. close people around. Close people, mm, exactly. Huh? Exactly. Infantophilia. And you won't go to sleep over. Some people are sick. It's not all these things you see that it's it really normal. Hey. There's, love. There's a lot of crazy things happening. I always happening. tell people, you need to have conversations with people. You need to sound them out. You need to yeah. hear their thoughts, where their head is at. Because you can't just take people on face value and just think everybody's thinking the same way you think or have the same values you have. And yeah. It's just... Conversations yeah, very. are very important. All right, so I mean, what did we find in the news? Mm -hmm. Jennifer, let me come to you. Yeah, so for me, um, UI Master's student reveals she just received her identification card days to the completion of her program. So she says she applied for her master's degree in 2019 and started the processing in 2020. And that she's glad to inform us that she just got her student ID card in 2023, just few months I, i think it's a month because her defense her test's defense is um is next month hmm. and a lot of people are just in commenting some said oh congratulations you use your um use the card to show your children see what the government has done to you that kind of thing so i, I mean it just goes to show how our process is in nigeria because i don't understand how you started your i mean when you start Your schooling, even as a normal um, undergraduate, mm -hmm. once you start, you've done your matric, you should be able to get your ID, not talk of someone who is coming in for master's. You should have your ID card mm. before, I, I mean, in a month. That a month step is even long. Yeah. But a month, math, let's just say, okay, you're taking time. Mm. My son never enters school. Yeah, I think I'd already. Imagine. Because they asked for his passport yeah, and yeah. everything mm -hmm. to, yeah. to get him his student ID. Because, I mean... That is what gives you access. It's, it's because we do not have proper structures. Yeah. Because ideally, a student ID is what gives you credibility to even work on the... On the school ground. Yeah. On the school ground. Yeah. Yeah. You can't come yeah. into that school ground without an identification. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? If we're doing things right, there are some certain places you cannot enter 
without that identification. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how can you, like weeks to your to your exiting the program, you're just getting an identification? This tells you how lopsided some of the things that we do in this country is. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Diola, what did you find for us in the news? Uh, Norma, can you hear us now? I hear you having struggles hearing us. Norma? Okay. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So, um, this is Supreme Court affirms Adelike's Oshun gov governorship. And, um, of course, this is... Um, this has been ongoing since um, the elections that was conducted July 16, 2022. You know, um, in January 2027, uh, majority, the majority verdict by Justice um, Tersi, Justice Tersi Kume, um, annulled Adelike's victory and declared Oyetola the winner of the poll. Of course, um, Adelike went to the Court of Appeal and... Um, they were saying, you know, there was a lot of back and forth. They were going to take it to the Supreme. So, um, well, right about now, Supreme has ruled and it's in favor of the sitting governor, which is Adelike. So maybe we say congratulations to him mm -hmm. or that, I don't know. I don't think you can take it any further. I mean, Supreme is the highest um, of the senator. land. It's well with him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the guy. I like his spirit. All right. So I saw a story that Jennifer gave me. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I don't know the guy, mm. but I think I, I want to discuss. Uh, I saw the way Jennifer was vibrating. I want to ask her, what up? Why were you vibrating? <laughs> so um, there's a young man. Um, I think his name is Toyo, right? Toyo, yeah, yeah. Um, so he wrote, and I, I want to read what he wrote about Gen Z. He said the younger generation are already having mental breakdowns. Some are already deeply rooted in drugs. Um, no morals at all, no vision, no goals. All they want to do is just get high, um, post and look fly for the gram and expect money to fall from the sky. So much entitlement. And I'm not going to say the last, word, the last word. All right. So, I mean, this is a genuine concern. The mm -hmm. reason I'm actually taking the story, because yesterday we talked about older generation and the, yeah. I mean, their role and all of that. The truth is, before you open your mouth, or you, put, you, you hold your finger to type something. Remember that um, every child is born, there's something that's called um, tabula rasa. Mm. It's plain like this. Mm -hmm. No stain, no nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. The child comes into this world blank. So anything you see the child exhibiting, right, is a clear picture of what the child has been exposed to yeah. so either through their eyes you know what, what they, they hear see, what, what they, they hear yeah. what they feel you know and all of that so all of those things now make up to what you eventually see as a product of the person mm. right so before you open your i mean collect your finger and mm. be typing <laughs> on on social, social media, media. Mm. remember that this generation they didn't just, just drop from the sky mm. The way they are saying that you don't, they don't expect money to fall from the sky. They also did not just drop from the sky. They actually, you understand, are copying. I remember what I said. What happens with some of these things that we're doing is that the next generation will do it 10 times better. So if it is a bad thing, they will be better at doing and it very bad. well. Yeah. You understand? So you, you, you can't make that kind of generalization and now try to blame a group without tracing it back in history because all these things you're talking about is because our parents didn't have instagram or all of those things because i know that it was a case or show ah this person don't buy car they'll go and do this yeah even birthing children mm. was show oh, sure. mm. yeah. i must have 10 children to show that me i am I'm, I'm richer than mm -hmm. you i'm this mm. than so the issue of maybe posting for the grammar it's always been there you know, it's just that technology has changed a lot of things. So before you make such summations, right, check back to your generation mm. that precedes this generation that you're, you're calling out. What have you guys done? What are you doing? You know, what are they seeing? What have they copied? The only thing is that they will copy it and they will do it better. Yeah. So you cannot just open your mouth and say uh, the generation is entitled and all of that. I think it's a very, uh, what's it called? Don't attack them like that because they will also come for you. <laughs> I'm helping them to come for you. <laughs> my own coming is, is mild. They are the advocate. I'm the advocate. But the truth is, my coming is mild. But I'm telling him that you can't do that. Mm, mm, mm. You I mean, cannot. Yeah. I mean, just like we ah. said yesterday, you know, um, there's always um, the, the issue of role modeling. 
Mm. You cannot be saying one thing and then be doing something yeah. else. So um, if um, the younger generation is driven about money or if they have redefined success to mean something else, it is because we gave them that blueprint. Mm. It is because we said that this is what success means. It is because we, we, we have done all those things. And then, I mean, quite rightly, like you said, unfortunately, they process faster. Uh -huh. They 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 don't have the luxury. It's almost as if they're racing against time. Yeah. You know, so they do things, and then I mean, with the with an internet, everything is amplified. Thank you. It's, it's just so. I, amplified, I told my son that you know? can because he was so, saying some things about. I said, help me verify. I said, mommy, but you should be able to. Do. I mm. said, please, they're not bombing with that. With a, a tablet and mm, a laptop mm. and phone like Una. Mm -hmm. I am learning it. So I mean, like you rightly said, it's it's everything's yeah. at the speed of yeah. light right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. You now come and just be typing because you can type. Mm. Mm. Let me leave you there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your problem. That's my problem. This is me. It's these parents that are afraid. All right. So when we come back from the break, hopefully we'll be able to get to normal and uh, we'll discuss the fears of parents. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.